Let's discover the world's most valuable gem, the red diamond, and unveil the hidden truths about these dazzling stones. Let's be honest for a second. Red diamonds are so rare that it's probably easier to find unicorn tears or Bigfoot's toenails. And what about the price? Well, if you want to get one for your significant other as a gift, be prepared to mortgage your house, sell your car, and potentially even sell your soul to the devil. Just kidding. Now let's speak about the looks of these little glittery devils. Sure, they're beautiful, but there's something about that deep red tint that drives people insane. Maybe it's the color of passion, or maybe it's just the color of blood, which, by the way, is not a great selling point for a piece of jewelry. But we digress. So what's so special about nitrogen in the crystal lattice structure, you ask? What causes the diamond to turn red? We're glad you asked. Well, scientists believe that nitrogen atoms absorb green and yellow light, leaving only red light to be reflected back to your eyes. People, it's science. It's magic, sans the occult. Not to mention the mysterious abilities that some people believe red diamonds possess. Wearing a red diamond, according to legend, increases your chances of good luck and riches. It's like carrying a four-leaf clover or a rabbit's foot, only much more expensive and less strange. Or is it? First, let's address the elephant in the room. Red diamonds are incredibly expensive, and they're considered one of the most valuable commodities in the world. In fact, the Musayef red diamond, the largest red diamond ever discovered, was sold for a stunning $20 million. You could buy a small Caribbean island in a private jet and still have money left over if you sold one. You're probably out of luck if you're not a billionaire or a Saudi prince. But who needs a house or food when you can wear a small red stone on your finger? But the Musayef Red isn't the only stunning red diamond available. There's also the Hancock Red, which weighs 0.95 carats and is regarded as one of the most precious diamonds in the world. Not to mention the Kazyan Red, which weighs 5.05 carats and has a history reaching back to the 1920s. Think again if you believe that all red diamonds are variants of the same color red. The color of red diamonds can range from a subtle pinkish tinge to a deep rich red, and the strength of the color can substantially impact their value. Have you heard the rumors that red diamonds are cursed? Some people swear it's true, but is there any real evidence to back up these claims? Join us as we investigate the supposed curse of the red diamond and separate fact from fiction. Yes, some individuals think red diamonds are cursed. It's said that owning one will bring the possessor bad luck and misfortune. We don't know if that's true, but anyone who has a red diamond will be cursed with jealousy by everyone around them, including us. Go ahead and buy one if you're willing to take the chance, but don't say we didn't warn you. Not to mention the diamond's supposed healing properties. Some people believe that red diamonds can heal everything from headaches to heart disease. We're not sure how that works, but we're willing to try anything at this point. So if you're suffering from a headache, simply place a red diamond on your brow and pray for the best. We won't judge. Much. But let's be honest, Red Diamond's mystical abilities are about as believable as a unicorn riding a rainbow. While diamonds have been utilized in spiritual and healing traditions for ages, there's no scientific evidence to support the claim that red diamonds have any particular qualities. So if you're looking for a quick fix to your creative block, you're probably better off trying some caffeine or a nap instead. If you think owning a red diamond is just a matter of having deep pockets, think again. There are serious environmental concerns associated with diamond mining, and red diamonds are no exception. Listen up to find out why owning one of these precious stones may not be so good for the planet after all. Not to mention the environmental impact of diamond mining, human rights violations and environmental degradation have long been associated with the diamond industry. So do you really want to support an industry that kills people and the environment merely to buy a gleaming rock? Now, let's go a little deeper, shall we? Did you know that red diamonds are among the most valuable gemstones on the planet? Only a few are discovered each year, making them even more scarce than blue diamonds. In fact, it's thought there are just about 30 genuine red diamonds in the world. That's fewer than the number of astronauts who have walked on the moon. So if you happen to own a red diamond, you're essentially an astronaut. Before we continue, did you like the video so far, and would you love to see more amazing jewelry stories? If yes, like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. A one carat red diamond can cost between $1 million and $3 million. That's more than the combined cost of a luxury car, a private plane, and a lavish vacation. If you want a larger diamond, you should start playing the lottery because it will cost you tens of millions of dollars. But hey, 
Who needs a house or a pension when you can possess a dazzling rock? Did you know that not all red diamonds are the same color? That's correct. Some red diamonds have a secondary color, such as brown or purple, which affects their value. A red diamond with a purplish hue, for example, may be worth less than a pure red diamond. And brownish red diamonds, which are often referred to as chocolate diamonds, are less rare and therefore less valuable. Did you think that finding a red diamond is just a matter of digging around in a mine? Think again. Get ready for an insider scoop on the rarity of these precious stones. The majority of red diamonds are discovered in Australia's Argyle Diamond Mine, which produces more than 90% of the world's pink and red diamonds. However, the mine was scheduled to close in 2022, which implies that the supply of red diamonds will become even more limited in the coming years. So, if you want to buy a red diamond, you should do it soon before they become even more scarce. Don't assume all red diamonds are stunning. The way they're cut plays a big role. The cut can dramatically affect its value and beauty. And while a well-cut red diamond might be magnificent, a poorly cut one can be downright unattractive. So if you're going to spend millions of dollars on a red diamond, be sure you're getting one that's cut to perfection. Who wants an ugly, costly rock, right? While red diamonds are one of the rarest diamonds, they are far from the rarest jewel. Tanzanite, for example, is rarer than diamonds and can only be found in one location on the planet. Even more uncommon than tanzanite is Pariba Tourlamine, which is recognized for its brilliant blue-green color. So if you're seeking a truly unique and unusual gemstone, there are lots of possibilities available. Finally, consider the thought of possessing a red diamond for the purpose of owning a red diamond. Sure, it's a rare and costly jewel, but what difference does it make in your life? Will it make you happier or more fulfilled? Probably not. In the end, it's merely a gleaming rock pulled from the earth and polished. While there's nothing wrong with admiring its beauty and uniqueness, it's crucial to remember that genuine happiness comes from things that money can't purchase. Let's also consider the usage of owning a red diamond. Sure, it's a gorgeous piece of jewelry, but where are you going to wear it? To the grocery store? To work? To your kid's soccer game? Unless you're a Hollywood celebrity or royal, chances are you won't be wearing your red diamond very often. So why not save some money and get a great pair of earrings or a necklace you can wear every day? But to be honest, who needs a red diamond when you can have red velvet cake? Think about it. Red velvet cake is tasty, cheap, and won't bankrupt you. You can even eat it. Is it possible to eat a red diamond? I don't think so. That's it for this video. Do you think red diamonds are worth their price? Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Bye.